So I just watched Jesus Revolution. It's the story of the famous pastor Greg Laurie and how he got his start in ministry. It's set in the 1970s, and this is a time where young teenage hippie types were looking and searching for something fulfilling in their lives, and many of them turned to drugs. Greg Laurie was one of those teens, those hippie teens, and he was searching for something as well, ends up dabbling in drugs, and ultimately gets introduced to the church. It's interesting because the church people were not very acceptance of, of these hippie types that were coming to, their, to the church that had kind of started this revolution. Maybe that's why your church is so empty. When God walks in here, brings me a hippie. I'll ask him what it's all about, because I do not understand. And so you had people that were stuffy on one side and conservative and, and just not very acceptant of anything outside the norm. And then you had, on the other side of the church, you had the people that were hippies and came to church barefoot and had a whole different standard of life. They don't belong here. Half of them aren't even wearing shoes. They're staining the new shag carpet. It was very troublesome to this conservative church-going people. There are some lessons this to learn in this about acceptance place. of other people. I think this movie is very good for today because I think the church can learn from it. And we're all human, we're all people, and we all need to have love, redemption, and acceptance. I'd like you to meet my new friends. Welcome. Door is open any time of day. And if there are some who don't like that, well then that door works both ways. All right, Pastor, let's begin. This movie is very informative and culturally interesting. I would give it an 8 out of 10. I really think you should go out and see it. There's a lot to learn, especially if you've been involved in church in any way whatsoever. You can really relate to this movie because even though it was set in the 70s, I see some of the same things in churches today. I haven't been involved in church myself. So go out and see it. I really think you'll like it. Our country is a dark and divided place, but now there's hope and it's spreading. This is your home, and I want you to tell all your friends about it.